I'm in a little bit of a pickle. You see, I need to make some bales, but I've only got one tractor. Now, if only there was a way that I could have this running without a tractor. Yeah, I know what it is. I could just use one of these. It's a Lizard Art M PTO. Now this mod is by Vanquish081 and it is for all platforms. Once you have the mod downloaded and you're ready to put it on your farm, come down to tools and then to miscellaneous. You're gonna go across until you see this right here. Now this is only gonna cost you $4,500 in its base configuration. And we've got a couple different ones. You can see that it's standard configuration or a methane configuration. The methane is gonna give you a little bit more horsepower, 40 horsepower more, but for what we're doing today, I can just use standard. We got some chassis colors. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to blue so it matches my awesome Guvile DLC that we are using right here. And the extension, that's gonna be if you've got the front methane part on there right now and the rim color, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and lease this. And this is all that it is. As you can see, it's got a couple wheels. It's got a connection point right there, but this is where all the magic happens. Right here, this PTO is gonna run that machine. So it's pretty simple. All you're gonna have to do is connect your PTO to your tractor of choice that you have on your farm. And then I'm gonna back up to the uh, baler right here with the connection point where the PTO is gonna hook up at. I'm just gonna keep backing up to right there until I get the message. Now that I got the help menu up, what I need to do is to actually turn this thing on. So I'm gonna hold my R1, press square, just like normal. You can see that it started to move just a little bit, but now all I have to do is unhook this and it is gonna run the baler for me. So you can see the exhaust right there. It's actually working. If I come back over here to this, now I'm gonna hold my L1 and I'm gonna turn on my baler, which is the square. And you can see that right here, it is putting product into the middle. You can see some animation already happening right there. Here in just a second, it is going to go ahead and uh, produce that bale, put it out here for the wrapper to do its job. And, um, we're running it with the PTO. Now it is gonna move around a little bit because the legs on it are not quite as long as the legs are on this one, but it takes up a lot less space and you don't have to have your tractor over here running the baler. If you've only got one tractor or only a couple and they're doing other things, this is an absolutely fantastic way to be able to do this process right here, to be able to keep this running while you can still make money with your tractor. Huh. This gives me an idea.